Hi guys, welcome back. So today I've got a quick tutorial for you where we're going to be looking at pagination using vanilla JavaScript. Um, you can see here I've got a list of items and when we press next we get the next batch of 10, the previous as well. Uh, so this, is a, this list is being taken from an array of 100 items so if we press last we get the last batch of 10, go back to the first batch of 10 as well like so. Um, so this could be anything this list, it could be a response from an API or just your own array um, of list elements, okay? So this tutorial, we're just gonna be walking through how to take a batch of 10 and render them to the page in this paginated format. So I hope you enjoy guys, and let's get going. Okay guys, so to begin, I've got the three usual files again, set up in a pagination a new project folder here. Um, I start with the HTML, so we'll do a boilerplate. And then here I'll just say, uh, just list or whatever you want to call it um, and then come into the body let's just do our link to our style.css first as well style.css and then we'll link to our app.js in the bottom script source app.js and then coming in the body we're just going to say uh, first we want to do is a container div.container and this is where our list is going to be placed, where we're going to store our paginated list, okay? So under here, we'll just say uh, UL, and we'll just call this, we'll give this a class of, we'll just give this task list for now. It could be any kind of list, really, anything you fetch from an API, or something like that. But for now, we're just going to use an array to store our list items, okay? Um, and then coming under this, we want um, a div class called tabs. And then within this, we're going to have just, you know, our um, pagination tab. So, you know, um, first, next, previous, last, that kind of thing. So we'll say div, the first one we want is the first. We'll put first in here. You can copy this down. Just say previous in here. The class of previous. And then we want next. And then here we'll say last. For the last page. Okay, so that's pretty much it for our HTML. Let's move on to our style.css now. Let's just, just open this in live server, see what this is. Okay, yep, that's cool. So in our style.css, Let's just do the globals first. The usual margin, say naught, padding, naught, and box size in border box. Like so, and then coming underneath that, we're going to say uh, dot container. And I want to make this position absolute. And then coming under that, we're going to say uh, left 50% um, and then we'll say top 50% and then transform translate make that central so minus 50% minus 50% um, and then width just give it a 50% width for now and then we'll say border 1px solid black. Again, this is just for tutorial purposes, guys. Style this how you want. Um, padding, and we'll just say one rem. Okay, see what that's looking like. Sorry, guys. Okay, and then what we want to do next is say, come under here, say dot tabs. And with this, we're going to say position absolute again. And underneath that, we'll say bottom, right at the bottom of our container, say naught. And then we're going to say left, naught as well. And then we'll say underneath that width, we want it to fill 100% of the container. 
and underneath that we'll do a text align center and then we'll display this as a grid and then underneath that we're going to say grid template columns because we want to put this into four even columns and there we're going to say repeat going to say four one fraction unit and then underneath that we'll just say border top so that's looking like now okay underneath that we'll say border top and we'll just say um, one px solid back again okay and then come underneath that let's just do the hovers for these these tabs we'll say we'll say first hover um, and then previous dot previous for the class and then we'll say dot next hover and finally dot last hover and here we're just going to say um, cursor pointer background of black and the text will be made white okay so when we hover you can see we get our tabs hovering now okay so that's cool so let's move on to the javascript next okay let's go back to vs code i that app.js file first we're going to do is select our task list from the html file so we'll say uh, const task list equals document dot query selector this is just going to be task hyphen list then we'll select our tabs so we'll say const first document dot query selector again say dot first and then we'll do previous previous tab And then next, and then last. Okay, um, and then come underneath this. So we're just going to create an array, um, an empty array for now, containing all of our list items. Okay, so we'll say array list equals empty array. And what this is, this could be anything really. So if you had a natural app, this would, you could push any kind of API response, uh, a list of your responses to this list here, okay? Um, so kind of underneath this, we're just gonna create a, um, a generic list for now of items, okay? So 100 items we wanna paginate on our, on our main page here. So we'll do a for loop. So say for let i equals one, um, whilst i is less than or equal to, 100. Um, we're just going to say i plus plus, and then for each iteration here, we're going to create a list element. So we'll say um, let li equal document dot create element. And create a list element here, and then we're going to say add some text content to this list element. So we'll say li dot text content. And that's going to equal do back ticks here. We're going to say list item, and then we'll just place the iteration number in there, okay? And then what we want to do is just append this list item to this array list we created up here. So we'll say array list dot push, and we just push out list item, okay? And so if we console dot log, should be an i in there. So, so console.log, uh, that array list. So now if we go back to our terminal, 
console, we can see we get an array of 100 items here, contain all of our list elements. And if you want to see the uh, text content, you can see we get list item six here. Okay. Um, so now, if we go to our back to our JavaScript, so let's uh, list the first ten elements of that array in this container here. Okay. So in order to do that, we're going to come under here. Um, I'm going to create another variable up here called page. Okay. So this is, just, this is going to tell all of our functions we create. Uh, what iteration we're currently on within that list, okay? So we're going to say let page equal null to start off with. And then I'm just going to say for uh, let i equal page, okay? And then whilst i is less than page plus 10, <clears throat> we're going to say, actually, no, let's do. To start off, we we'll just do i equals null, and whilst i is less than page plus ten, so in this case ten, we're gonna go up, we're gonna increment it, and then we're just gonna say here um, task list dot append child, and here we're going to say uh, we're gonna get the first ten uh, items from this array list here. So we'll say array list and i like so. Okay, so you can now see we get the first 10 items listed in this container here. I'm just going to adjust that padding because it doesn't look great. Go to our style, go to our container padding, F2 rem. And you can see we get yeah, a little bit of white space there, so that's better. Okay, so next let's move on. So if we go back to VS Code, back to our app.js. Now underneath here, I want to make it so that when we press next, we fetch the next 10 elements of the of the list, okay? So let's do that. Let's do next dot add event listener. We'll listen up for a click. And then after that, that'll be, that'll be a function. This will take in, yeah. And then what we want to do is we want to say, we want to get the page number, okay? Because basically, if we get to the last 10 elements of the uh, list array, Wait to go back to the, the first set of items, okay? So for example, if this is starts off at list item um, 91 up to 100, and then we press next, we want it to go back to the list item 1 to 10, okay? So in order to do that, we're going to say pay if page equals. So we're going to ask if the page is equal to the array list dot length um, minus 10 question mark. So this is a ternary operator here, so it's quite a good, just makes your code, you can place your code on one line, save space really. And then, so if if the page is less than the array list minus 10, we're going to set the page as equal to naught. Else, we're going to say uh, page plus equals 10, like so. Okay, and then come underneath this, we're going to say uh, do another for loop and say for uh, let i equal page um, and then whilst i is less than page plus 10 page uh, i plus plus and then in here we're going to say First thing we want to do is actually just clear out the task list as well. So we'll just say task list dot inner HTML equals uh, blank. So two quotes there just to clear it out. And then we're just going to say in the for loop task list dot append child. Um, and then we're going to take the iterations from the array list like so. Okay. So now if we press next, you can see we get the next batch of task items. And then if we go all the way up to uh, 91 to 100, if we press next now, it should go back to list item one. And it does like so, okay, so that's working. So next, let's work on our uh, previous. I'm gonna copy this down. Previous, so I'm gonna say in the, pre in the previous, we're just gonna reverse the next basically, so we'll say, Um, 
if the page is equal to zero, uh, we want to make uh, our page um, equal So this will be array list dot length minus ten. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to say page minus equals ten. Okay. So basically, if our page is at null, it's going to make the page. Let's make that page equals. Our page is going to equal the uh, length of the array minus ten. Okay. To bring us back to the last. Uh, batch of list elements, if that makes sense. So now, if we press previous, you can see it takes us back to the to the last batch of elements in the uh, array list. Okay, so that's working. Uh, the final things we need to do here is just the last and first. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Copy this again. Um, and here we're going to say just page equals zero. Okay, and then for last, we're going to say uh, page equals the array list dot length minus 10 again. Okay, so now. If we press last, you can see it takes us to the last batch. Press first, we get the first list of items there. So the first 10, the last batch of 10. Okay, so that's a simple way I, you can implement uh, vanilla JavaScript pagination on your website or applications. Uh, I hope you got something out of this video, guys. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.